in this video we are going to understand the area of a quadrilateral let's say you have a quadrilateral p q r s and you have to find out the area of this quadrilateral okay now what i do is i draw a diagonal qs on this quadrilateral you understand what is the meaning of the diagonal a diagonal is something which divides this quadrilateral into two parts okay now if you basically have a look at this you will see that by drawing this diagonal this quadrilateral has been divided into two parts okay one is the portion marked with green and the other one is the portion marked with yellow or you can say that area of quadrilateral PQRS is equal to area of triangle PQS, right, which is the green portion, plus area of triangle QRS. So you need to add the area of these two triangles to get the area of the quadrilateral. Now, we know that area of a triangle is basically equal to what is equal to half into base into height okay so this you need to do for triangle pqs plus half into base into height this you do for qrs now if you see triangle pqs what is the base half into base base is what qs into height we don't know what is the height here so let us draw a perpendicular to qs and let's denote this as h1 so into h1 plus half into base again even for triangle qsr let's say we also draw another perpendicular here and call this as H2. So for triangle QSR, the base is what? It's again QS into H2. Right? Can we simplify this? Have a bare look at it. Can you simplify this? Yes, we can, of course. We take 1 by 2 into QS as common and then write H1 plus H2. Why? Because H1 is here. So once this has moved out, you multiply this by H1 plus 1 by 2 into QS. Again, this is common into H2. So this gives us the area of a quadrilateral. So area of a quadrilateral is equal to half QS or you can write this as 1 upon 2 into D where D stands for the diagonal into H1 plus H2 where H1 and H2 are the heights of the two triangle which are formed by drawing a diagonal. So your area of a quadrilateral is equal to half into D into H1 plus H2.